Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. You guys, I want to share something special that I'm very excited about and I do believe it has to do with the power of suggestion to ourselves, feeling good, talking ourselves into a great headspace. Okay, here's the deal. Last night, I was sweating. I felt terrible. I couldn't stop coughing. I got into this headspace where, oh my God, I have this crazy virus. I better start buying bottled water and hide out in my cave. Like, I was a little bit going there and like, it was one of those things where, you know, you don't feel well, you don't want to touch you, talk to you, whatever. I just wanted to sleep. And then when I woke up, you know, I, I felt the residual of that. And, <clears throat> you know, I was coughing. I didn't feel good. So I heard right away, go back to sleep as long as you need to go back to sleep for. So I'm back to sleep from like 8.30 to 12.30. I woke up and I said, decide right now. You're going to be in a good mood and you're healing and you feel better. And I'll tell you what, I just performed a whole bunch of private reads. They were so inspired. I felt so good. Some of them made me cry. I was so connected. The messages were beautiful because I decided right when I reawoke, that I was going to listen to my soul, take it easy, slow down. There was no need to push. And that spirit was always with me, helping, guiding, protecting, and healing me. And that is something that is happening. I ought, I feel so much better. And I feel that we can do that for ourselves. So if you ever wake up and you feel tired or your muscles hurt or anything that is happening, be your own savior by digging deep and saying, angels and guides please support me and feeling better and start that self-talk this is i can do this moment to moment i can do this i can make the right choice i can eat the right thing i can hydrate i can take any medicine that i need to to help me feel better and empower yourself and get there because i'm i'm telling you this is one of my best reading days and i thought i wasn't going to do any work today i thought i was just going to be there with like a sweating and feeling unwell. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, I, I can't explain it because I'm very rarely unwell, but it was one of those things like, not now. It's like spring is here. And then I was like, what, what? And I was like, you can make yourself unwell by keep saying how unwell you are, or you can make yourself well by saying how much you're healing and so quickly. So and my voice is a little off. It's just because I haven't stopped talking since I decided I feel better. And I've just been doing read after read. And I feel really inspired. So this today, I wanted to do another fun soulmate read. 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 I, I was going to say road and read at the same time another reading for any messages they have for you, any new details or whatever. I know I have lots of new people that poke their head in on my channel and they're watching things. So this is for some new people as well. And remember, this is for a large collective. So um, not every last thing is going to resonate. And there may be details that change from any of your other soulmate readings, but also we're in a new progression. So new things come, come on board as well. So let's see what's going on in this soulmate journey right now. We have three choices. We have Owl Spirit, you see clearly now. Nightingale spirit, love is all around, and white raven spirit, trust in the magic. So I'm going to have a brief pause, and then I'm going to let you make your choice. I always tuck away decks, and then when I find them again, I realize how much I love them and how amazing they were. Like, I love Colette Baron reeds um, All her decks, her, art, her artist is fantastic. Her messages are beautiful. So let's see what, first of all, I want to know when this person might be coming in for you guys so we have six six months process divine physician too i feel like this person that's coming in not only in this time frame is going to have a lot of healing aspects and quality to them we all carry energy with us and a great many of us when we decide to tap into that and recognize it it's healing energy humor is healing when we laugh and we're funny and we're goofy and we make other people feel good that's very healing right when we listen intently and lovingly we're helping somebody kind of work through an issue by sometimes just saying what they need to to say and listening lovingly and caringly. So they have that aspect around them, which is beautiful because a lot of people have absolutely zero time for anybody else. <laughs> I'm serious. I love this. Again, energy healing. Their natural energy healing abilities are an important part of their life purpose. These people might also might be... Um, um, I feel like they might work. Yeah, see, let me get, I, want, I, I was already feeling that. I feel like they're already personal trainers, they're dietitians, they're nutritionists, they're Reiki healers. They're people that are in that holistic approach and they understand mind, body, spirit is all connected. And that's part of their life path purpose and involves body work, massage, energy healing, physical therapy, exercise training, all of that. They know that that is an approach for healing as well. So definitely, and I also feel that there, that symbol is no joke right here. I feel like that that actually is 
part of um, that might be a tattoo or a symbol that's on them, a Celtic symbol. And I actually have a new hair clip that's just like that. I'll put it in my Etsy store as well. Um, yeah, I feel like they really know how to govern their time very intelligently too. So I'm going to see what their possible signs are. Yeah, of course, Aries. Aries are very powerful and persuasive people. They also have substantial leadership qualities. They are not followers. They are not sheeples. They are usually leading the pack. They just define what it is they want and where they want to go and they do it immediately. They make great head chefs. They make great personal trainers because they use their time wisely and they are serious go-getters. And we also have cancer. So these are their possible zodiac signs. Cancer's deep, rich thinkers, a lot of water and flow and emotion and, you know, deep recesses of in intuition, very intuitive, love and caring. There's nobody, really, there's nobody more sensitive in the zodiac of cancer. So do be careful. Even if you say something off the cuff, jokingly, they're so sensitive that, you know, they believe and trust people that it can do damage to them. So don't ever say to a cancer, you know, you, you look fat, ugly, or whatever, never say anything, um, just off the cuff, even being silly or funny because they're very sensitive and they, they're dreamers. They believe in the best possible world and universe and, and the world can be a tough place. So at times, you know, we have to, um, really, connect with our higher selves and think before we talk but i'm loving this energy within them the buddha prepares they're preparing right now spiritually for their next soul mission and that is meeting you and being with you and um by doing that they're connecting with their highest self so you know no residual kind of ego none of that just a really pure form of authentic beauty like this person i feel like they are miraculously good looking too because they literally glow you know that joyous whole individual that's happy and shiny and productive in their life it is them so it's one of those things where you feel like oh nice yeah see i definitely feel that um it's like it's just like written in the stars. It's one of those things. It's coming. It's coming about for you. And you're, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is part of it. the initiation of St. Germain. It's like everybody now in the world, in the universe is being initiated into this state of grace and understanding an age of Aquarius and love. And we're all tapping into that energy in a very unique and profound way. And part of that, uh, part of that is our soulmate coming in. Our lighthouse beacons are out there for each other. And it's like a sonar and it's dry. It's really driving them towards us a lot faster because of this the, these initiations this understanding this graceful period of love and light and i'm going to pull two messages that they want to say for you with cherry's beautiful cards i love cherry enchantress she's so sweet and she made this astounding deck enchanted embrace if you guys want to go see her on her channel and go to her links her cards are awesome man i love them i want to spend my lifetime loving you just do you they're saying just do you be your authentic self chase your dreams get out there connect feel good feel wonderful it's your time to thrive in life and jump the universe is going to catch you you have all this light and love to offer and they want to spend their lifetime loving you and they're making their way towards you beautiful energy group one if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe all my linkazoids are down below if you need a private read if you want to go to my Etsy store, I would love for you to come see me on Instagram too at Sparkwist11. I do daily posts and memes and I also run contests. We have so much fun over there. We talk about all the funny, zaniest things and I start my day so happy over there because everybody is freaking super cool and we do really fun stuff and it's a great way to connect and feel the love that's out there so i love that owl spirit beautiful so now we're on to nightingale spirit love is all around you right away i your soulmate is saying feel it understand they're there they're in touch with that beautiful energy that you're sending out let's see possible zodiacs we have sagittarius and libran and it's funny because i chose these two libran coins and um I feel a sense of balance and justice and grounding and all the things that are important that have us have beautiful focus on what matters and take that other garbage off the table that we don't need. Jealousy, envy, thinking we're inadequate, low self-esteem, all that is just gone and everything is now painted with this beautiful brush of balance, you know, great work, home life balance, great self-care, um, 
social balance, all of that, you're moving into that. And I'm really excited for you because it's going to help you thrive and realize all those other little things that have been, that came before those little abrupt, um, whatever it was, lower vibrations are now departing and this beautiful bright energy is coming in. So Libra and energy, love a Libra. They are fair, honest. I feel like they're always authentic themselves and they're always in search of truth and, and strong foundation. Sagittarius, lovely, mutable, fire, adventurous, athletic, caring philosophers. Again, another seeker of truth does not like, doesn't like facades, you know, really loves your authentic self and is, is great with allowing any kind of nonsense. Like they love zaniness. They love adventures. They love fun, all of that. And so let's see what's going on in terms of messages. Don't be afraid to have things up in the air. We don't have need to have everything like completed. And their message to you as well as spirit is have things, projects that have taken off, but you don't have to watch with such a finite eye that you're spending so much time struggling, figuring, struggling, figuring. Now is a time of ease and flow and allowing for things to just happen. Let some things be up in the air. We don't have to have all this crazy occurrences again you are the architect of your own life you are the navigator of your own ship you get to steer and turn and deviate and do whatever you want whenever you want it doesn't matter what anybody else is saying doing feeling because it's your time for some awesome quiet and rest and relaxation and fun as opposed to just you know pushing yourself so hard so they want you to know they're proud of you and where you're going but um don't be so hard on yourself. You know what I mean? Nobody's keeping score. Oftentimes we act as if somebody is right. Well, if I do this, then I'll feel good. We don't need to prove ourselves. We don't need to validate ourselves. We're just existing in the beautiful bliss that is ourselves and our lives. And we're doing it as we want. Now, when we marry intention with action, miracles do happen. When we make a choice and we're like, that's what I now want to do. I want to open my own company. So I'm going to start with A. I'm going to move slowly, focus and have intention. Miracles happen. All of a sudden our business takes off. There's interest generated. We're on social media things take flight that's going to be happening for you but you have to have intention of success right no fear no doubt no comparison and just go for it because there that's what's happening in your love mate connection as well don't have fear set that intention i'm waiting for you soulmate these are some of the indicators that are going to be you know coming up for you you're going to see these synchronicities boom now be gentle with yourself you're a magnificent soul they want you to know don't be harsh or judgmental on yourself talk to yourself like you're a beautiful younger sister or brother you'd never say you're unattractive you're heavy you're fat you're slow you're you're not smart any of those things you wouldn't right so talk to yourself as much as the love you'd have for a younger sibling you know you're bright you're beautiful you matter you're worthy of everything good that comes your way slow down you don't need to prove yourself or validate everybody's so self-involved they're not even paying attention half of the time i promise you this like i've been in conversations and just as like just to have a little fun with the person if they're just totally narcissistic and they're talking about themselves i would say the most outrageous things and they would agree with me because they weren't listening to me because they were waiting to talk more about themselves like I would say crazy things and I would entertain myself and they go, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I have nothing to do with the conversation. I'll be like, oh yeah, you like to ride unicorns in Greece. I've done that. And they'd be like, oh yeah. And then they, they would not hear that because they would only hear their own voice. And it's so funny that there's a lot of that that goes on. So you're going to be really plugged into people that are listening and caring and you're going to be doing that as well. So you're going to be in this beautiful elevated energy that's going to help serve you and again i feel like th this time is coming very quickly you know definitely within a two-month process very very quickly because what's happening is you look at the wing messengers you're going to have a lot of this you're going to have a lot of this with birds weird bird activity i'm talking crows seagulls all kinds of birds are going to be showing up and they do this for me too um when i'm in my yard and i if i get all excited or i start going too fast and uh, um a crow will show up and start calling like crazy and it's extremely helpful it's a reminder to me to slow my will and be focused on what really matters group two beautiful energy if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by my name is melanie all my links are down below if you guys need a private read soulmate reads and love is my specialty but i do everything past life messages from people that are passed on everything 
And I would love for you to come see me on Instagram at sparkless11. I love to connect with people over there, answer your questions, do daily posts and memes. I do readings. I do all kinds of fun stuff. And I have contests so you guys can win some of my cool loot that I make because I make handcrafted jewelry. And if you go see my Etsy store, I believe in the properties of stone, how they can enrich and calm our lives and help our intuition. So I make a lot of pieces with really, really beautiful natural stones as well. So beautiful, beautiful energy, Nightingale spirit. And now we're on to... And if you guys like, I had a lot of people show interest in my um, pendulum. If you guys um, want me to get a hold of one of those for you, I will be able to do that as well. People were just saying how much they liked it and all these DMs. So just let me know if you ever see anything on here, rings, jewelry, props, whatever, I can put them in my store for you. So now we're on to White Raven Spirit. This is my favorite card because this bird looks like it was dipped in oil and thrown up in the air and landed in this tree it's such i love things that are so uniquely unattractive they turn a corner and become attractive like steve buscami it just happens right <laughs> there's something so amiss that it's cute so white wave experience saying trust in the magic your they your soulmate feels your energy and quiet your soul and listen and take deep breaths and connect with that because you have the two worlds card too you're coming from two different worlds you're coming from two different places and creating a magic, beautiful world together. They want you to know they cannot wait to be with you. I'm going to pull two messages for you too. Now that I see you, everything is different. And there is a place. Will you meet me there? They're already working as a conduit with spirit to create your meeting place, to tap into this energy, to come together, to be as one. And I'm, let me get a time frame for you as well. So four months. And oftentimes what happens is once we decide and we put our focus and tension, let's do this. I don't have fear. I don't have doubt. I know that I'm a beautiful, value, valuable person that deserves love and I will thrive and do beautifully in it. Let's do this. Focus and tension and off you go. It's really important. Don't use your energy to worry. Use your energy to believe, trust, create, grow, love, and heal. And boom, here they come. Let's try to get some zodiacs in there as well. But first I want to just hear two other messages because I need to take a breath beauty so surround yourself with simple pleasures beauty is the language of the divine absolutely make your um surroundings be something that is something that appeals to you to your eye to your sight I love fresh flowers I love the smell of green tea so I have this most miraculous green tea spray so when my olfactory scents and my visuals are beautiful I love it and I usually just take I'll take trays of my stones out just so I can see how beautiful and wonderful they are they make me dream see and become more expansive and other things so again make your environment something you, that is restful and beautiful to you okay so you can have that gorgeous state of grace share your heart to love another is the ultimate expression of grace and they want you to know they're ready they're excited to meet you um they've gone through like everything that you have as to these kind of trials and peaks and valleys and now they have a greater understanding that all there really is is love right no one has ever made themselves um, great by showing how small somebody else is. You know, nobody's ever made themselves great by competing with everybody around them and being in a rat race. Nobody's ever um, made themselves great by having massive fear and doubt 24 seven, maybe Woody Allen. But besides that, you know what I mean? We don't want to tap into that. They're understanding that, you know, you have what it takes and that you're amazing and never doubt that. And always, you know, tap back into that energy of your specialness. So I see Capricorn energy and Leo energy, very neat, similar yet different energies in that Capricorn is so, so reliable. Um, they're going to make sure you have batteries in that flashlight. If something's going, if there's going to be a blackout, everything reliable that, you know, there's no tools laying around that can damage your automobile. If you run them over or break your tools, like picking up everything in its place, very orderly, systematic, practical, wonderful, reliable people like no other. Absolutely. Leo, fun, charming, passionate energy. I love a Leo too, because they have the longest leash, but once you pull that leash, oh my God, that lion's roar comes out. That's it. End game. Because they are full of charm and light and love. And you know, they can be silly and they love to laugh and they love to play. They, people don't know how deep and smart they are. Like Leos are so clever. Like they know how to navigate so much stuff. So this is going to be five alarm charm coming in for you too. I love that. And again, you guys, this is for a big collective. So if every little thing doesn't ruminate or resonate 
Um, you know, it's not every last little detail isn't because it's not a private read. If you want that, you can get a private read, but this is for a collective. So it's like the overarching energies. But Ego Spirit is also paying you a visit saying Spirit has your back. It's guiding you in this. Don't worry. Don't fret. Everything, you know, has its time, place, and sequence that it's arriving. We don't need to push or struggle. Just allow it to wash up on your shore. It's on its way. Spirit is protecting you in ways you couldn't imagine. And all you have to do is ask for help as well. If you ever have a wobbly moment, or you're uncertain or you feel like you're you know your ends are a little afraid ask spirit for help and it will say to you what it said to me yesterday when I felt so unwell take time for yourself you know feel what you feel relax don't push what are you pushing for you're going to you know you're going to have everything done when it needs to be completing but you get to say when it gets completed so relax it's your journey oh i love those messages so much spirit yay and so those are the messages and some of the energy coming with your um soulmate so love and light to you, group three if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my linkazoids are down below and if you need a private read if you want to go to my etsy store at sparkrist um, all my links are down below and thank you guys for ordering all your private reads and your beautiful feedback I love when like right after you watch your reading you give me all this feedback and you're so excited It's so wonderful to see and I appreciate that more than I can say because it's important how my words and my channeling affects you And I'm excited for you So I love when you you know that passion builds and you're stoked and you're kind of reconfigured and grounded. It's really nice to hear So thank you guys